This as well for this as well from the US from the Bowman Track Club. Of course, we'll come tell you more about him very shortly indeed. Telehum Bakili of Ethiopia, finalist over 5,000 meters, finished fourth outdoors in Doha in 2019. We've got national record holders in the shape of Andreas Almgren of Sweden on the inside, Mike Foppen of the Netherlands as well. And we didn't mention Thierry and Diku Mayo of Burundi as well, the Diamond League record holder who's on the outside of that second group, the main cluster on the inside. What a setup of athletes. So here we go, 15 laps. Well, we understand, Jenny, that that wave light technology is set at world record pace. As we say, that world record 724.9, which has stood to Daniel Komen of Kenya since 1998. Well, we just saw in the women's event Pemka Ball get the meet record of Grit Brewer from that same year. So what an era of athletes we've got. And, uh, we'll be following the pace all the way through this race, the setup to try and go through 1,000 metres at 2.29. Abachi, that is his job. Senek is then going to carry on to 1,500 metres in 3.44. And then we're hoping that Elmer will still be going at the 2,000 metre stage, 4.58, but plenty of that to follow. And it's a good indication, isn't it, that wrath that you can see at the moment. It shows that sort of pace. And the world record figures, as you've already said, Chris, 7.24.90, Daniel Komen. Let's keep an eye on that throughout this race. But this men's 3,000 metres, it's really just been on fire through the whole of this world indoor tour. We've seen national records. We've seen Yaron Nagus from America set a national record. Sam Aiken from Great Britain. We saw Lewis Grilhalva set a Guatemalan record as well. And US race set a Swiss record. So all of those races were in Boston and New York. Back over to Europe now. And we're hoping for some quick times. World lead, maybe that world record. But a few national records sprinkled in there as well. Well, it's not just us talking up world records, by the way, as you can see from the wave light technology, the blue lights are set on world record pace. So it's uh, something for the athletes that are coming here with genuine hopes of being able to follow that. And this is Katie Moon. I understand this is 4 metres 88 if all is going to script. Not to be on that occasion. Oh, in fact, 490. Well, she's ripped up the script. She's thought, forget the uh, 488. And uh, really good to see that motivation to hit these high bars. She's going for a meeting record. It's in by Ava, holds it from 2005, 489. That's why she's gone to 490. Well, that makes sense. As we get back to this men's 3,000 meters, we can just see the pace has slipped marginally. It's still, well, I still say slipped, it's still 726, which would probably be the third fastest time of all time if these men can keep this up. And let's look at that time at 1,000 meters. It's bang on the pace that they asked for. Yeah, they're aiming for 2.29. Akbash, the first of the pacemakers, has now stepped aside. And it is Philip Sassinek who takes over now for this next 500 metres or so, looking to get to 1,500 in around about 3.44. The chasing pack at the moment, led by Lametza Germa, who's in third position overall. Grant Fisher then is next, followed by Mohamed Katia. And then Jacob Kropp, who made a massive outdoor progress last year, didn't he? Jacob Kropp, just 21 years of age. Here's Katie Moon again for a meeting record. Okay, the second time, four metres 90. Really good by our meet director there. We don't want to miss that. Don't want to miss any significant jump now at this sort of stage for Katie Moon. One more attempt at four metres 90. Already world lead for 83. Well, Chris, it's interesting, you know, the pace is being set around about 7.27, which would be a world lead. We have taught world records, but it's interesting how some of these men have got preferences. We saw Alicia Monson um, over at the United States the other day. She set a national record and she went off with the pace. The middle section slowed and then she closed really quicker. She likes to wind it up. I'm wondering whether this is the same for these men here. Well, we didn't get a clock stop at uh, 1,500 metres, but it was just around about 
344, 345, which is what they're aiming for. And those blue lights at the moment, just a few metres in front of Sassinek as he steps aside. And we move to the final of the pacemakers now, who is the Swiss athlete, Swiss athlete Tom Elmer, who will take them through to 2,000 metres. Now Germa, followed by Fisher, and then Katia, and then comes Balu of Bahrain, who's come forward. He's in the top 20 all time with his performance as well. And those four have got away from the rest at the moment. Well, interesting that there still is four men in it at this moment. And we can still see from that pace, there's still sub 7.30 seconds. And a couple of the other pacemakers who's already done their job and already moved off to the side. They're really trying to make sure these men are keeping up this pace. But it is Germa at the moment, followed by Katia, Fisher, Bellu, Krop. One of the athletes just taking a bit of a wide course there, as I think as they came round into the uh, the home straight. So at the moment now, it's Katia, the one as Germa puts the hammer down, and all of a sudden Grant Fisher is coming under a bit of pressure. It's a bit on the sharp side for him, this Grant Fisher, over 3,000 metres. Well, bang on the money still at 2,000 metres. They wanted 4.58. It was 4.58.38. And this is all about Germa now. I just saw a facial expression. He looked like he was working really hard. But not only have we got records and world leads in mind, we've got a race still on at the moment. And this is hard for Germa now with four laps to go. He wants to run a quick time, but he's still got Katia on his shirt tail. Well, you mentioned about them winding it up, Jenny. They're trying to do exactly that. Lometra Germa, number seven on the all-time list when he followed home Wally and Borrega on this very track two years ago. But Mohamed Katir at the moment, the world bronze medalist over 1,500 metres, the European silver medalist outdoors last year, the Spanish record holder isn't going anywhere. Germa and Katia still right on world record pace. That world record that's just celebrated its 25th anniversary. Katia was really trying to get some oxygen in, wasn't he? He was doing some heavy breathing there. Katia was absolutely on fire in 2021. He sent all sorts of national records, four national records in that occasion. Couldn't quite do it in Tokyo, but he did do it in the World Championships in Oregon. And here we go. Everyone is rallying them now. Two laps to go. This is on, this is on, this world record has stood since 1998 to Daniel Komen, Lametra Germa and Mohamed Katir, if they can keep up to their work here, they're just sl sliding ever so slightly, working very hard, less than a minute's worth of running between them and one of the longest standing world records in track and field. It might go to either of these, as you say Jenny, there's still a race on. Well they're racing all the way through to 200 metres to go now, Germa it is who hits the bell. A world record attempt. Lechem Germa there from Ethiopia. Mohamed Katia of Spain. And this is a real race with 150 metres to go. That time to watch for 724.90. Still a chance with 100 metres to go. Lemetra Germa from Ethiopia looking to keep the record in Africa. Striking again into the home straight. Leaving Katia behind. 724.9 is the time to look for. He's going to do it. Wow! Lemetra Gerber of Ethiopia has taken down the 25-year-old world record. Not only has he done it, he's knocked a full second off it. Absolutely incredible. 